you just came in, you did what was necessary, and and you saved a life. Um, and in doing so, you have changed the narrative for those protests. I think, of course, there will still be those pockets of or, of, of, of problems or of issues that people, other that certain people, want to focus on because that's the narrative, that's the story they want to tell. But you know, I think you've you should really. If you haven't done so already, really give yourself a pat on the back and and know that it wasn't just that single act that you. I think you've really changed the game here. Thank you. Coming from yourself, that's uh, you know that's that's high praise, man. I really appreciate it. We went down there as a group and we're really just there to oversee things and and uh, make sure that those like young protesters didn't do anything they would regret later on. That was the main reason, and and you know. When you think about the protesters, there was a, a mixture of protesters there, like from all walks of life, all sexes, all colours. So there was no, it wasn't just us down there protecting the young black protesters, it was us protecting everybody, you know. And as it turned out, somebody on the other side, you know, because at the end of the day, at that moment in time, you, you forget about uh, people's uh, anything else and you just want to, like, do what's right for that particular moment. No one's blaming anybody. That's the way that I look at it. No one's pointing the fingers. It's been, you can't really point the fingers, especially when it comes to unconscious bias. But once you realize or you feel a little bit uncomfortable, then the onus is on you yeah. to go out and, and educate yourself as much because ignorance is no longer an excuse. And unconscious bias, from my understanding, you know, having had the, the upbringing and the, and the education that I had, I, I had no idea that what it was. I had no idea it existed. And then, you know, sad as it is to say, it, it took me many, many years to... To, to, to realize it, especially then living a day or a week in my wife's shoes. For me, it's always a tricky one to try and explain something like this because, um, you know, I'm no expert in, in this field. You know, I can only sort of give my opinions. But, like, um, I feel like, first of all, you have to be willing to, to listen and have the conversation, have those uncomfortable conversations because it is an uncomfortable conversation. And I totally get it, especially for, you know, a, a white person who wants to be told that they may potentially have yeah, a little bit of racism in, in, in them or or maybe they've, uh, you know, if, t tell the, the working class white person that's that's worked really hard all their life to get where they are, that they've, they've, they've had a leg up. They're not going to have that. Do you know what I mean? And this is where the problem lies. There's a big class thing in here too. Anyone that's pushing against it, really needs to take a, a long, hard look at themselves in the mirror because, as I said, this, this, this isn't black versus white. <laughs> as you quite rightly pointed out, you know, now in 2020, we have protests of every color, every background, every religion, every belief, every age. Like, this is, like, this is a global movement and this, the, the train has left the station. And you, you know, if you're not on it now, then, then get on it because, <laughs> There's so much that we can do. And, you know, as being a dad and, and being a dad myself, the whole point in life, I guess, is for me, is to try and leave the world in a better place than when you found it. We can't continue to scream and shout at each other. And social media is the worst place to have these conversations that just rips out the context and everyone's sort of opinionated and having a go at like whatever it is, a sentence or like 300 characters, however how much there is. Like these are conversations that need to be had across all corners of society and all platforms of power as well, because that's where the difference is going to be made. Because people, people consume, you know, they, they consume news, and, they, and if that news or whatever it is that information is is being given to you with a with an element of bias, then it's almost impossible to break free of that and be able to sort of recognise where that bias comes from. Because if that's your world, that's your echo chamber that you've created, what's yeah. being created for you. How are you ever, ever going to notice things?